Guys, Microsoft just did the biggest epic fill they could have ever done in regards to the Xbox Series X's launch being completely successful. Literally, like right now, within the last 15 minutes, they have officially announced that Microsoft is delaying Halo Infinity until 2021. Oh my god, Microsoft. Oh gosh, you cannot even write a worser situation for Microsoft as a company, especially going into a brand new console generation against your biggest competitor, the PlayStation 5, who is killing it on all four cylinders with some heavy hitting releases coming out. They had some strong showings. Xbox, I was pulling for you just i was like oh man seems like microsoft is going to have this next console generation a little bit more organized and structured than what they did with the xbox one but it seems microsoft just keeps fumbling and let's go ahead and talk about this guys so i saw this on twitter from tom warren who put breaking microsoft is delaying halo infinite until 2021 343 industry cites multiple factors that have contributed to development delays, including the pandemic. And then it goes on to an article from The Verge, which we'll look at in a minute. Okay, the pandemic, that's understandable. We can get that, rest assured. But they just got done showing a demonstration of gameplay footage for Halo Infinite at the last Xbox Series uh, showcase for the games. And it was met with a lot of scrutiny. A lot of people actually said the graphics looked like trash, which is fair. There was pop-up. There was, like, you know, graphical issues, little small minor details that were very concerning with this uh, game's graphics and whether, you know, Xbox was even making it worth the jump to go to the Series X a lot of people were saying there's not much of a difference, there's not much of an incentive, that there wasn't enough wowing them compared to PlayStation coming out on all cylinders showing graphical changes that were just stellar. Like, I mean, look at the next, uh, the next Crash Bandicoot and Ratchet and Clank and upcoming games that are just like, wow, look at this. PlayStation looks like they're killing it. But anyways, let's go to this article. Which is very unfortunate, but Microsoft delays Halo Infinite to 2021. Xbox Series X is still launching in November. So, it's still set for a November release. But again, without its main game, Halo, what's the point? <laughs> like, what is the point? What's the selling point for Xbox now? So, it says Microsoft and 343 Industries are making the decision to delay the launch of Halo Infinite to 2021. And again... You know, they shifted to work from home and development of large games has been particularly difficult for many in the industry. So here is the development update right here that was in the thing. So let's go ahead and read that. Today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. That's fair, but to wait for the last minute? After a poor showing and a rocky launch update window that they've kind of been messing up on, it's not good. This PlayStation is going to take a huge advantage of this. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to develop challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you and we'll all share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. Chris Lee, Studio Head, Halo Infinite. Oh, man. Was that a tough pill for them to swallow? Very tough, guys. Um, this is a big decision. 
I haven't seen enough from Xbox Series X right now to encourage completely for people to choose that over PlayStation. And I was intrigued. I was going to get both. I still might get both uh, at launch. But for the overall casual consumer, this is a big hit. This is a big blow. People might just wait and see whether they're going to get an Xbox Series X until after Halo comes out a year after it's been launched. So the main huge selling point of the Xbox Series X, the huge, the biggest exclusive, most anticipated release, is not coming out for another year. That That is a huge oop. Now, in all fairness... Phil Spencer did kind of hint that this might happen. His quote was, I'd say the bigger unknown is probably the game production. Just being honest. This was back in May. Game production is a large-scale entertainment activity now. You have hundreds of people coming together, building assets, working through creative. Uh, other companies, Destiny uh, 2 was uh, delayed. Uh, Naughty Dog delayed a few other games as well which was like uh the release for last of us part two was delayed um but the fact that they demoed it <laughs> just a few weeks ago and we're saying this is the launch date they were committing to the launch date to being launched alongside the new console which would be in november and somewhere between now and then they just decided in a few weeks window span that it wasn't a good idea to launch this who knows there's no clear date now just a 2021 release date for all we know this could be metroid prime forward uh where it will just be postponed and restarted over from scratch because a lot of people just did not like the graphics the way that the demo looked this is very disheartening in my opinion not a good look not a good idea but then again i don't run a multi billion dollar company like microsoft or xbox so what do i know as far as gaming go well, I do know that this is going to hinder the success of the Xbox. Uh, this would probably the worst thing that they could do besides delaying. The, I mean, at this point, why not just delay the console till 2021? Why even launch the Xbox Series X in November if, if the biggest selling point, the biggest game to attract people is not going to be coming out? At this point, there's, there's, it's, it's an epic fail in my most humble opinion, to even proceed with this, because now PlayStation 5 is definitely going to crush it. Uh, unless they have some kind of huge plan B planned um, after this, it does not look good for this. Guys, what do you think about this development? Comment down below. Was this a huge epic fail, or are you still supporting them? Also, subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to leave a like or dislike. Help push this video in the algorithm, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.